hello friends welcome to another video and in this video we will discuss one more advanced coding question of tcs nqt of day 2 and this question was asked on 20th of august 2022 so in this question we will discuss this uh, uh, coding question and i will discuss the solution in java now many of you uh, wanted the solution in java so i made this video and the same question having the solution in c++ and python i have already uploaded so if you are favorable with python or c++ you can go through that video okay uh, but in this video we will discuss with java okay so you will get the code in c++ java python all and uh, i think these three languages are most popularly used so let us see the question so the question is of uh, a medium size or medium level and uh, we will just use one or two logic and it will be solved and if you are about to appear in nqt uh, like uh, it is uh, then you have to solve more number of questions okay and uh, i have already uploaded uh, the all the questions of uh, coding questions of day one so go through that also and i will also upload all the further questions okay so let us see how to solve this before that you can try it yourself also try to think of different logic and then we will see okay so the question is you are given an array of size n your task is to select a subsequence of maximum length possible having maximum sum subsequence should be selected in following manner so you have to select some elements and make it a subsequence and uh, elements selected should be like this positive negative positive negative or negative positive negative positive so instead of reading let us see through the example so you will be given n this n is the size of the array so in this case n is 7 so you will be given 7 elements now what you have to do you have to select a subsequence now a subsequence is so this is the formal definition I have written but in simple word subsequence is like this you have to select elements you can start from here and you can either select it or not select it so let us say I selected this one this one this one this one it could be one subsequence or I select this one this one this one it could be another so you can select any one of it only thing you have to keep in mind that you have to follow a pattern means you have to you do not have to change the order so let us say i select a subsequence minus 2 minus 5 and 9 now it is not possible because in subsequence if you started from here and we went minus 5 and again came back it is not possible okay so just you have to move in continuous order so here I have given example of some of the subsequences. All these are subsequence. So I hope you it is clear what is subsequence. Now we have to select maximum possible. So let us say if I say this subsequence. So is it uh, the our answer could be this subsequence or not? So it cannot be because we want such subsequence whose elements are alternate, positive negative positive negative. But in this case, it is negative, then positive, and again positive. So there are two continuous positive. So it, it cannot be the answer. So I'm just giving example. Now, it could be our subsequence, minus 2, 9, because it is alternating. So first negative, then positive. Uh, and this could also be our subsequence, negative, positive, negative. This could also be, and this could also be now out of this four we want the subsequence of maximum length so this cannot be because this is of length two and all these are of length three so one thing you have to keep in mind it should be of maximum length and other thing is its sum should be maximum so these three subsequence could be possible minus two seven minus one minus two nine minus five minus two nine minus one now out of these three we will select that one which have maximum sum so our final subsequent will be this one and sum will be 
sum equal to 6 so this will be our answer so we have to output 6 okay if it had been our test case okay because if you select all these two our sum will be less than 6 you can try it so in this case it will be 9 minus 2 7 minus 5 2 in this case it will be 4 so in this case the sum is maximum so now i hope you understand the question now we have to see how to approach this so the moment you see this question the first thing that should strike in, in our mind is if there are continuous positive or continuous negative then we will select only one or we have to select only one out of all these three why because suppose i started from here and i included this in my subsequence now we came here here we have three consecutive positive now suppose if i included this also in our subsequence now the moment you include this one more positive then the sequence that we wanted which is alternate will be violated because this is also positive and next one will also be positive okay now suppose i uh, selected seven and again i selected two now this is also violation because it will become two positive so that's why i said whenever you have consecutive positive then it is confirmed that we will select one out of all this okay because after selecting one now we want negative so no need of all these things the moment you selected seven this two will not be applicable similarly if you have consecutive negative then we will select only one because the moment suppose i selected minus five if i again want to select minus one it will be violation of the condition which is alternate positive negative it will become too negative continuously so this thing we will use now the question is <clears throat> okay now the question is okay i have understood that i have to select one now which one so i hope it is very simple the maximum one because we want the sum to be maximum so if i have options like seven nine two then why go for seven if you have nine because by adding nine we will have maximum sum similarly for negative also instead of adding minus 5 we will add minus 1 because minus 5 will reduce our sum much let me give an example so suppose up till here I selected minus 2 and 9 so up till here our sum is minus 2 plus 9 7 now we have to select one negative out of these two if I select minus 5 our sum will be 2 if I select minus 1, our sum will be 6. So it's uh, advisable to select minus 1. Okay. So in negative also, we will select the maximum 1. So I hope it is clear. So these two things we have to keep in mind. Okay. So by, the, by following this only, our question will be solved. Start from here, select minus 2. Out of this uh, 3, select 9 out of this uh, 2 select minus 1 and for 0 we will skip it because 0 is neither positive nor negative so we will just skip it so our uh, sequence will be this one minus 2 9 minus 1 so this was the logic now see the code okay now we will see the code so this is the java code I hope all you all of you are aware and uh, we will see line by line so the, this line will basically take the input oh, sorry this will uh, this is the scanner class now here n will be input will be stored in n n will be length of the array similarly we declared a, an array and in this array I just uh, taken all the values of the array so this two input we will take so I hope it is simple now we will move forward now we will declare an array list why that we will see now see how to code this this by the logic now this is the code 
so the code is simple the array list that we have uh, declared here we will try to add elements one by one such that they are alternative in symbol negative positive negative so on so we have uh, suppose we have this uh, l array list so the first element we will push okay so the first element we have added now for adding the next element we have two conditions now for the next element if it is positive and previous one is negative then we will add it there is no problem in it because we want the alternate sequence so that we can see so initially it was minus 2 and we will check okay it is positive and last one is negative so we will just add it then we will move further now this is the current element now we will check that this is positive and last element of the array list is also positive so we discussed it when whenever you have continuous positive then we want only one and that one should be maximum so what we will do we will see okay this is also positive this is also positive i want one which is maximum so we will compare it which is maximum just to store it so out of seven and nine nine is maximum so that's why we will replace this seven with nine because we will say okay if you if i include seven our sum will be five but if i include nine our sum will be seven so it's better because we want maximum sum so i hope you are getting it one by one we are adding again we got next element again we will check is it is also positive and last element of the array list is also positive so which is maximum so 9 is maximum so no need of updation now we will move further now we came here <clears throat> now it is negative and last element is positive so no need to check anything just push minus 5 also so we came up to here now we will check whether next now current element is minus 1 and last element that we have added is also negative now two negative cannot be together so we have to put one so out of this which one we will put which is maximum so minus one is maximum so we have put here because if i include minus one our sum will be more if i uh, then if i would have included minus five so see in this case we have included everything the moment we came we encounter zero we will continue we will skip it so this is the logic and in code also i will do the same thing so in the array list at first i will include the first element and now starting from the second element index one we will move one by one and this last index is basically to get the value of the last element see because we always wanted the last element because from this only we have to compare okay so here we will store the last element in k now we will check if k is equals to equals to 0 it means if last element is 0 then we have to skip it so we will just update the last element with current element okay or else if current element is zero then also we will skip it so we write and continue else if current element is negative means current element is less than zero now if current element is less than zero then what we will do we will check the previous element okay so in this case current element is less than zero so we will check okay is the previous element also less than zero so in this if block it is saying yes previous element is also less than zero so both are negative then we will update with the maximum so these two line will update with the maximum but if current is negative and k is positive like in else block then we will just add current element now same thing will go for here also this else block is basically saying that current element is positive now if current is positive so we will check the last element so last element is also positive in if block and negative in else block 
सो इफ लास्ट एलिमेंट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव एंड करेंट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव वी विल जस्ट अपडेट द मैक्सिमम एंड इफ द लास्ट एलिमेंट इज नेगेटिव एंड करेंट इज पॉजिटिव देन वी विल जस्ट एड इट सो दिस वॉज द सिंपल कोड आफ्टर एडिंग ऑल द एलिमेंट्स अ न्यू सब्सिक्वेंस विल बी फॉर्म्ड एंड देन वी हैव टू टेक द सम ऑफ इट ओके सो दिस इज द सब्सिक्वेंस ऑफ मैक्सिमम लेंथ एंड वी विल टेक द सम सो सेम थिंग आई एम गिव सॉरी सेम थिंग आई एम डूइंग वन फोर लू बिल अप्लाई एंड वी विल टेक द सम ऑफ ऑल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एल एंड दैट आई हैव स्टोर्ड इन एंसर एंड देन आई विल प्रिंट दैट एंसर सो दिस वॉज द सिंपल कोड ऑल अबाउट नाउ लेट मी रन दिस एंड रन फ्यू टेस्ट केसेस ओके सो लेट मी प्रोवाइड सम इनपुट सपोज फोर ओके इन दिस केस बी गॉट एट बिकॉज फ्रॉम दिस टू बी विल सिलेक्ट फोर माइनस वन फोर माइनस वन थ्री प्लस फाइव एट ट्राई सम मोर वी विल चेक दिस सैम्पल वन ऑल्सो सो एट माइनस फाइव एट नाइन थ्री माइनस टू माइनस वन सिक्स टू ओके वी गॉट द एंसर नाइन या सो इन दिस वे यू कैन ट्राई सम मोर टेस्ट केसेस ऑल्सो द कोड इज देयर दिस इज द कंप्लीट कोड एंड आई होप इट इज क्लियर सो दिस वॉज द सिंपल थिंग यू हैव टू जस्ट सो लेट मी रिफ्रेश दिस सो बेसिकली यू हैव टू जस्ट कीप टू थिंग्स इन माइंड करेंट एलिमेंट लास्ट एलिमेंट इफ बोथ आर सिमिलर लाइक करेंट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव लास्ट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव देन वी विल अपडेट इट विथ मैक्सिमम इफ करेंट इज ऑल्सो नेगेटिव लाइक इन दिस केस एंड लास्ट इज ऑल्सो नेगेटिव देन वी विल अपडेट इट विथ मैक्सिमम ऑफ टू बट इफ करेंट इज पॉजिटिव लास्ट इज नेगेटिव जस्ट एपेंड इट ओके सिमिलरली इफ करेंट इज पॉजिटिव Current is negative and last is positive. Just append it. So only these two things we have to keep in mind. And I hope it is clear. And uh, if you have any uh, doubt in any part of the code or any line, you can write in the comment section. And uh, this was the question. And uh, try to solve maximum number of questions. Questions I have uploaded different types of questions of advanced coding. Go through it. Try to solve it. And uh, thank you. Best of luck.